I saw that you like you say you're indifferent to marriage and that sort of stuff. You know what? That was a stupid thing to say. Honestly, here's the reality of that situation. You know, you go away. I went. I was there doing press in New York. Yeah. And I was. Um, you know, I did like probably 85 interviews a day. Yeah. No, 85 interviews over the course of three days. And sometimes the tone of an interview, you know, that was an interview was just like a lot of banter and Hugh was sort yeah. of bantering in a very sort of superficial and like, not disingenuous, but not like really like speaking his personal truth. We were all just bantering. And all of a sudden we're bantering about one thing and I get asked my opinion about marriage. It just said something that doesn't really reflect my true thoughts right. at all. You know, it's like it's like being with your pals, you know, sometimes not thinking like you're not trying to articulate your most sincere oh, totally. opinion about and in something. Black and, white. and then you see it in black and white, but I I know I gotta say that really hurt my girlfriend's feelings oh. and I really regretted saying that because I actually didn't mean it at all. It was just frankly some stupid shit I said in the heat of the moment. I'm like so romantic and the reality is, I sort of consider myself married. I've been with my yeah. girlfriend for 14 years. I suppose what I was trying to articulate is like, the official government sanction of it doesn't mean anything to me, but the romance of it means an enormous amount. Totally. So, I really regret saying that. But listen, you know, you, you spend 12 hours a day for three days doing interviews straight, you're gonna say some stupid shit. <laughs> right. Especially a guy like me that's yeah. like not that smart, you know, so. <laughs> that's well, well, then it begs the question, like, is it gonna happen anytime or? You, oh, that, that's to be, you know, watch this space. <laughs> and family is very important to me and, you know, I was always a late bloomer, I've left it a long time because, you know, everything was great and we were just pursuing other interests in our lives, but we're certainly coming up to that time where we gotta, you know, start, uh, start, you know, switching it up. It makes you nervous, a little bit. It makes you nervous. It doesn't really make me nervous, to be honest, because we've been together for so long. Yeah. It's like we've been together 14 years, you know? Yeah. I mean, you, t you occasionally hear, you know, stories of things changing once you get married in people's relationships, but I couldn't foresee that happening with us because, you know, we know each other so well.